In this video, I'm going to show you how to merge quantitative and qualitative data files. With QDA Miner, you can mix qualitative or unstructured textual data with quantitative information that's stored separately. First, I'll show you how to append structured data stored in an Excel spreadsheet into a project built from interview transcripts. Then, I'll show you how to append interview transcripts stored in MS Word documents to a project containing survey data. Let's get started. This project contains 10 interview transcripts. We want to append to it numerical, categorical, and date information stored in an Excel spreadsheet. Let's take a look at the spreadsheet. In order to merge both files, we need to match cases on variables with identical names containing common values. A match is possible since the ID column in the spreadsheet contains unique values corresponding to those stored in the file variable. However, the matching values are stored in a column with a different name. To fix this, we need to rename the column header in the spreadsheet before importing it into our project. Now that both sources have common variables with the same name and with corresponding values, let's close the Excel spreadsheet. To import data from the Excel file into this project, we need to run the append from a file command from the variables menu. Let's select the Excel file. QDA Miner lists variables with identical names which could be used to match cases. In this example, it lists only one variable, file. By default, QDA Miner will import all other variables or columns in this Excel spreadsheet, but we can also select those we want to import. To prevent variables from being imported, simply move the variable name from the right side of the dialog box to the left side of the dialog box using the arrow button. In this example, we'll import all the data, so let's simply close this dialog. Click OK to proceed. You're asked if you're sure you want to create nine new variables. Select Yes. Nine new variables have been added to the project including a comment document variable. Now let's look at a different situation. Here we have survey data stored in a QDA Miner project. We want to append some in-depth interview transcripts for some survey respondents. We need to create a document variable where the transcripts will be stored. Select variables from the top of the screen and scroll down to add. Enter the name of the new variable and the data type. The new document variable can be accessed from this tab. To import a document for the currently selected case, select Document at the top of the screen and scroll down to Document File. Select Import from the adjacent menu. You're asked if you want to replace the existing document and transcript. Select Yes. The current case identifier is M01, so let's import the corresponding transcript. Let's look at another case. A quicker way to import a document is to click the File button in the Document window. If the transcripts have already been imported in another QDA Miner project, we could also merge the two projects using the same procedure we demonstrated at the beginning of this tutorial. 
Before demonstrating this method, we need to delete the transcript variable. Now let's run the append from a file command. Select variables from the menu at the top of the screen and scroll down to append from a file. Select the project containing the transcripts Identify the common variable on which the case will be matched You're asked if you'd like to create a new variable and the transcript has been added.